Hey guys, this is Excalibur, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm analyzing the newest character in the Halo series, Agent Locke. Agent Locke is the first main character to introduce in a while since the Arbiter, and has one of the more cryptic motives as far as the game is concerned. Let's start with answering the biggest question himself. Who is Agent Locke? Spartan Locke is a Spartan 5 soldier that operates under the Office of Naval Intelligence, or ONI. Not much is clearly known about his role in Halo 5, other than the fact that he is looking for the Chief. Locke was born on March 15, 2529 on Jericho 7. When he was 6 years old, Jericho 7 fell to the Covenant Empire and Locke was evacuated. His parents were killed during the assault. I believe that this may have been the scene in the first cutscene of Halo 4. After the war, Locke was part of a unit sent by the UNSC to investigate Covenant activity on Cedra. During a Covenant operation, Locke and a team of Oni agents attempted to prevent a rogue Sangheili from detonating an unidentified weapon. Locke's efforts failed, which resulted in the deployment of a biological weapon that only affected humans. Locke's investigation into the source of the biological weapon led only to a fragment of the installation 04. Working with Colonel Randall Eichen and a small team of Cedra militia members, Locke and his team landed on the fragment. The joint strike team captured two human smugglers, but only Locke and Macer able to escape the Halo fragment before Eichen detonated the nuclear device, destroying the fragment. Sometime after the Cedra crisis, Locke underwent Spartan 4 augmentations and led an only Spartan team to search for John 117. On September 26, 2552, Locke compiled a target profile report regarding Thel Vadim's personal history during the war, including the glassing of Reach, the destruction of Installation 04, and this great schism. He was tasked to find John 117 and met with Thel Vadim to learn about John's history via battle recordings and testimonies from the Arbiter itself, hence the Master Chief Collection. But now that we have an idea of who he is, let's get into the big questions. What is his role in Halo 5? Why is he hunting the Chief? Why was he chosen to find the Chief? Well, I'll be going into that and more in this video. First is the biggest question, in my mind at least. Why is he hunting the Master Chief? Now, if you read the comic series Halo Escalation, you would know that at the end, Chief has thrown himself back into duty, despite the quote-unquote death of Cortana. At the end of the final issue, you see a conversation held discussing this. The most notable quote being, if he wants to destroy himself, then who the heck's gonna stop him? This can only mean one thing. Chief is not okay. He is going through one of the seven stages of loss. Denial. He is refusing to accept the loss of Cortana. He's trying to forget about her completely, burying himself into his work. Assigning himself mission after mission, hoping to wipe his mind of her. Next is, why him? Why choose Agent Locke? Well, I feel that that is explained in Halo Nightfall, at least directly after it. Because this is where he seems, well this series is where he seems to exhibit values of leadership, valor, and courage, thinking on his feet. This is not necessarily a told in that story himself, but it probably has something to do with Halo 5. This is the reason 343 created the series as well as Forward Unto Dawn, to explain a certain character's role in the game or the series moving forward. Like how Forward Unto Dawn was Lasky's story, and he ended up playing a, at least a semi-critical role in Halo 4. I believe Agent Locke is the quote-unquote replacement that was mentioned in the beginning of Halo 4. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? 
You want to replace him? He may be the next Master Chief, considering his great leadership qualities and the ability to think on his feet. And then there's the prime selling boy. He's young. Let's remember, Chief is about 36 to 37 years old. He's been in the military for at least 20 years. He underwent the Spartan augmentations at about 6. And we have to admit, he's not getting any younger. And with the loss of Cortana, he may be losing himself psychologically. He may be on his way out as far as the main character role. This could be anywhere from a forced retirement to the Chief's death, for all we know. 343 did say one thing about Halo 5's story, and that's that it would be much darker than the previous installments. This could possibly be the end of Master Chief as a main character. He could bring, and I bring myself back to Halo Escalation, be destroying himself through the constant refusal to stop, refusing to believe that he is human, not a, a machine. He can feel loss. He can feel period. So as a quick summary, Agent Locke is possibly a new main character in the Halo series that may possibly replace Master Chief who may lead the series as a main character, whether it is through retirement or death. Well guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, it would mean a lot, and if you're feeling generous, subscribe. This has been Excalibur, I'll see you later.